Hi everyone, it's story time. Um, I've got another story for you. This is called Sam's Super Stinky Socks. And I am going to challenge you to um, get an old stinky sock and make your own sock puppet. Um, if you would like any extra equipment to make your sock puppet, please um, contact me and I will doorstep deliver some to you. Um, but that's what I'd like you to do after this story. Make your own stinky sock puppet. Okay, ready? I'm off to see the world, said Sam, to places far away. Said Pa, then listen carefully to what I have to say. Be sure to wash your socks each night and hang them out to dry. But most of all, beware the scary jumbo bumbo fly. If you meet a cheetah who looks ready for his tea, then climb and clamber quickly up the very tallest tree. If a python passes and he wants to hug or squeeze, pretend you have a nasty cold and give a great big sneeze. For a cheetah can be cheated if you climb up very high, but no one can escape the fearsome jumbo bumbo fly. Snakes hate to catch the sniffles for a sore throat makes them sigh but nothing will protect you from the jumbo bumbo fly. A crocodile may stop a while and seem to be polite, but all the time he's looking for a tasty place to bite. So glue his jaws with bubble gum or chewy gooey pie and keep your eyes wide open for the jumbo bumbo fly. For if the jumbo bumbo fly should bite you on the bum, You'll tremble like a trifle from your tonsils to your tongue. Your body will turn spotty and the brightest shade of blue. And you'll feel itchy twitchy for a year or maybe two. Farewell, said Pa, and bon voyage. Remember my advice. Wash your socks out every day. On Sundays, wash them twice. But Sam said, I'll be quite all right. Stop making such a fuss. And with his pack upon his back, he ran to catch the bus. Sam travelled far and travelled wide to places strange and new and quite forgot his past wise words as children often do. He never ever washed his socks, but wore them all night long. And soon a cheetah trotted by, attracted by the pong. Sam didn't climb or clamber, he just ran off with a shout. But when a cheetah's chasing you, the winner's not in doubt. And as he thought, I've gone about as far as I can run, he stepped upon a python who was snoozing in the sun. The python stretched his slinky coils, preparing for a hug. Sam didn't squeeze or sniffle or pretend he'd caught a bug but ran down to the river with a plan to swim away. And there he met a crocodile who smiled and said, good day. The python was pursuing him, the cheetah chasing too. And now a cunning crocodile, what was poor Sam to do? He had no gluey bubble gum or chewy gooey pie. And then Sam heard a fearful noise. The jumbo bumbo fly. So big, so bright, so buzzy that Sam cried out with surprise. He saw its scary hairy legs, its scary starey eyes. He shouted, not my bottom and I wish I'd stayed in bed. And then the jumbo bumbo fly bit somewhere else instead. Ow, the cheetah trembled like a trifle in a gal. Ooh, the python quivered as the spots ran up his towel cried out the crocodile, my bottom's turning blue. Would Sam be next? And was there really nothing he could do? There was, he'd have to hurry, not a moment's time to lose. Sam quickly sat down on a rock and took off both his shoes. Took off his stinky socks as well and waved them round and round. The jumbo bumbo fly said, poo, and spiralled to the ground. 
So if you go off travelling to land so far away, then listen very carefully to what Sam has to say. Never ever wash your socks or hang them out to dry. For only pongy feet can beat the jumbo bumbo fly. That's the end. Have fun making your stinky sock puppets um, and send us some pictures when you're done. Bye.